Hello and welcome to the 8th video tutorial for Slideshow Digital Signage app for Android. This time I am going to show you some tricks with transparent and semi-transparent panels and how to display HTML files and entire websites on the screen. On the left side of the screen you can see Slideshow's web interface opened on my computer. I am going to upload a new video file via File Manager and create a new item for this file. Next, I will create a new item with RSS messages and set the color to greenish just for the better visibility on the screen. For both items, I'm creating a new playlist with just the single item. I'm creating a new screen layout with two panels. The first one across the whole screen, the second one on the bottom 10% of the screen for the RSS messages with background color set to fully transparent. After assigning the playlists to these panels via time slots, I'm activating this new screen layout. On the right side of the screen, you can see the result on the Android device acting as a player. You can change the background color of the bottom panel to semi-transparent, use basically any color and transparency level combination. You can also change the color of the text to semi-transparent by editing the text color for the RSS item. The text is not very visible right now because of the semi-transparency and low contrast, so I will use a brighter color. Let's try overlaying the video with some text in HTML format. I am creating a new HTML file via File Manager and opening it in an editor. There are multiple editors available, I personally prefer CK editor. I will write some text and format it in various ways. If you want, you can also add tables, lists or images linked from the internet. After saving the file, I'm creating a new item and playlist for this HTML file, same as with the video file previously. I'm going to add a new panel to the screen layout in the top left corner of the screen and with fully transparent background.
After assigning a playlist with the HTML file to this panel and saving, the message is displayed on the playlist screen. I will make the panel a little bit bigger now, so the message fits there. If you are skilled with HTML markup language, you can edit the HTML code of the file directly using the source button. I will make the text slightly bigger in the source and once again resize the panel so the content fits there entirely. Lastly, I am going to demonstrate how to display almost any web page on the screen. I am creating a new URL file in the file manager, opening it in the text editor and putting the URL address of a web page there. After creating a new item and playlist for this URL file, I will swap the previous video playlist on the main panel for this new playlist. After saving, you can see that the web page is loaded on the player's screen. The two transparent panels are still shown above. I will change the content of the URL file to different web page and then content is refreshed within a few seconds. That's all for today, thank you for watching. You can download Slideshow app for free on website slideshow.digital.